What's up, world? I wanted to make this video, the second video for you guys today. I'm only, I'm doing two videos lately, but I wanted to dive deep into this topic because I've been, I've been seeing this, you know, this problem with everything. Now, I consider this, you know, more of a hobby, and I wish I could have a real job and everything like that. And sometimes people think that this is my real job because I, I've said in this past that I think this is my real job, but I'm realizing more and more now these days it's more of a hobby than it is a job for me. And I, this is not a persona that I like to put on at all in any of my videos that I've ever posted on this channel, uh, of the thousand I almost have on this channel. But we're not, if you, creators are, you know, can be a little bit, you know, what's the right word? I'm, I'm not trying to put any YouTubers down. I'm not trying to say that any YouTubers are like, all YouTubers are like this. But from, I, I have never, when I went to VidCon back in 2013, I had a great experience. I had an amazing experience. I got to meet some new people. I got to see some creators. And I then the next year, I realized something. That not everyone, you know, gets to meet their favorite creators or, you know, see the people that they love to watch. And it's it's it saddens me that we have to live in this world where we think so highly of someone. Now, don't get me wrong. I wish I could be friends with, you know, so many great, uh, so many awesome YouTubers. But that's not, that's not who I've become. I'm not, you know, this super hyped up person on YouTube. I don't have, you know, millions of subscribers like so many YouTubers on this planet. But don't get me wrong. There are nice YouTubers out there. There are nice influencers out there. You just, it, it may not seem like it is, but there are so many great people on this planet. And YouTubers are normal people. And just like um, movie stars and TV stars, they are normal people. It's just the media and the, you know, the fans and the subscribers and the viewers are all making us out to be this, you know, big thing. This big production. It, that's not what it is at all. We're not those type of people. I'm not saying everyone's like this who's on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or or Snapchat or TikTok or whatever it is. Look, it this is gets to be too big for some people and they just, for some YouTubers. I don't want to say people because people sounds like it's a bad thing. But YouTubers are not what they appear in their videos. If you ever met me on the street and you came up to me and started talking to me like a normal person, I would be glad to have a conversation with you. And that could mean, you know, a subscriber of mine, even though I don't like that term, or a viewer of mine, I don't like that term either, or my audience, I don't like that term either. I want, I, I just don't like how we're always considering numbers here. Like we're just some fake person that doesn't exist. That is so far from the truth that it hurts me. It physically pains me that everyone has to look at us like we're some, some big person because we have, because someone has a million subscribers or someone has you know, has barely any subscribers, like myself, who's only got 223, or someone who has like 10 subscribers, it, it, I don't get it, and I don't want you guys to explain to me in the comment section down below how, how ignorant I'm being on this, but this isn't just about me being ignorant, it's about everyone who's ever followed someone who's been on YouTube for, let's say, a year to 10 years to 15 years, we keep putting this, putting them in this big old bubble that they're the greatest thing that's ever happened to this world. They are just normal people that, you know, sure, they have 
they do this as their job or they're, you know, they have, there are, there are people like me who wish they had, you know, a side job, a real job, like working at a restaurant or working at a clothing store or working at, you know, a bookstore, even though books, books, stores are becoming more, more and more obsolete, but I wish I could have that real job. Working at a fast food restaurant, working at you know something like that, but I I just it, I I it hurts me and it pains me to see that that the followers who put us on this high pedestal don't know the real us, don't know who we are as human beings, because we're just normal people like they are. And they have to put us on this high, high, high pedestal when there's no high pedestal to begin with. There is nothing in this world that makes me more upset than when I, I guess it, this, could, this could be perceived wrong, but we're all the same people. We're all normal. Some of us are more normal than others, and some of us are less normal than others. And, you know, YouTube is, is more of a hobby than it is a job. And someone may, you know, fight me on this, or leave a nasty comment in my video, on my comment section in my videos, or they might thumbs down this video. Whatever you do, it doesn't bother me. I don't care if you don't like me as a person. I don't care if you, you know, view me as this, you know, high pedestal person. That, that doesn't, that doesn't make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. It makes me angry because everyone has their own th shit they're going through. Whether it's, you know, not having a job or not talking to their family or whatever it is, it just... It just pisses me off to no end. Because family is the most important thing in this world. And if you're ignoring your family just so you can be on YouTube, that is not right. That is not how this world works. YouTube is just a facade, basically. And and I could, you know, I could get in trouble for saying this with, you know, the head of YouTube or the head of Google... But I'm trying to speak the truth here. And if the truth is gets me in trouble, then so be it. But look, every single person that you've ever watched on YouTube, whether it's myself, whether it's someone like David Dobrik, whether it's someone like PewDiePie, they're just normal people or normal, normal, you know, humans. And yet... We build them up to be the greatest thing on this planet. And it hurts me to think that when we watch, you know, someone who has, you know, billions of views or millions of subscribers, they think that they're, they're the end-all be-all of the world. They're not. Neither is, you know, the president or, or, or movie stars or TV stars, they're not, you know, what you think they are. They're just normal people that just are in movies or on TV or running this country or, you know, or making videos every single day. That's not, that's not who I want to know. I want to know the real person that doesn't film every single second of their life. Or film every single minute or every single hour or however, whatever it is. I want to get to know the person behind the camera. that What they don't film, what they don't show you. That's who I want to be friends with. I don't want to be friends with the YouTuber who just shows you 14 to 15 minutes a day or 20 minutes a day. Or however long they, you know, make their videos every single day. I want to get to know the person that's... You know that doesn't that shows doesn't show their whole life on YouTube. That's what I want to see.
That's who I want to be friends with. That's who I want to meet in person. Not the ones who, you know, put on this character that you see in a video every single day. Or every, you know, three days or four days or or every every day, every, you know, once a week or, you know, once every month or once every six months or once a year. I, I, I hope this makes sense. And if it doesn't make sense, I do apologize. But it just, after watching someone who I've been, who I consider to be a real friend, even though I've never met them in person, I watched his video and I realized that he's right. They put on a persona for you guys in their videos every single day. Or however many days they upload. Whether it could, be, it could be one day a week. It could be two days a week. It could be three days a week. It could be four days a week. It could be an entire week. It could be five days a week. However, you know, however often they upload. They're, that's not who they really are behind the camera when the camera's not running or the camera's not off or is the camera's off is is who I want to meet personally I could care less about you know how many subscribers a YouTuber has or how many followers they have on Instagram or how many followers they have on Twitter I could care less about that what I want to see or what I want to experience firsthand is meeting them and hanging out with them without a camera being shoved in their face or without, you know, without them being on YouTube. I want to see the behind the scenes person that's really there in the moment that doesn't have, that doesn't film like, like 10 minute videos or whatever it is. And then them editing it, if that makes sense. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It may sound like I'm complaining or, you know, saying that every single YouTuber is like this. Not every single YouTuber is like this, by the way. There are some that are, you know, great human beings. I feel like I'm a great human being. If you were to meet me on the street, I would have a full-on conversation with you. Because that's who I am behind... That's who I am when I'm not filming videos or uploading a video to YouTube. I'm a nice, kind person when I'm not, you know, filming a video. That's just, that's just who I am. And that's who I want you guys to see me as. As this guy who just, just because he uploads a video and films a video every single day, you don't see every single minute of my day. You see a portion of the day that I want you to see. But, with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand spanking new vlog. Y'all know the drill. Keep it real. Bye-bye.